tongue in tongue in tongue I don't want to leave you on top that horse I need you to come down here for me now You're claiming E and M the miss boss But look how high the crime it is now Thank you so much Mr. Chairman for that very warm dynamic welcome here tonight UNC family good evening all you here political leader of the United National Congress the Honorable Mrs. Kamla Pasad Bisesa dignitaries of the UNC UNC family Kokalm African team listening and viewing public good evening it is such a pleasure to join with my distinguished colleagues on this week's TT Speaks Thursday UNC platform and I am proud to represent the electoral district of Kokal Mafikin in the Miara Rio Claro Regional Corporation the Miara region like the rest of Trinidad and Tobago right now is a victim of neglect by a PNM administration that is most uncaring and absolutely out of control. We in the UNC continue to stand in defense of the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago, and we are here tonight to speak Mayaro's truth. I am proud to belong to a party where my political leader, the Honorable Mrs. Kamla Pasad Bisesa, believes in the limitless potential of youth and the beauty of our young people. <laughs> and if we in the UNC don't stand in the gap for our young people in this country, the PNM administration will continue to bulldoze their way over every opportunity once created by Kamla Pasad Bisesa and our great party. I have asked this question before, and I often ask single mothers and our working class citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. When you sacrifice and struggle to send your children to school, and this is a very personal topic for me, as I have witnessed my mother, she's in the crowd here somewhere tonight, struggle and sacrifice to educate my five siblings and myself. I know personally what families are faced with and the struggles created by incompetence, neglect, nepotism, and mismanagement by this PNM regime. the cutting gate, the shutdown of the laptop program, the cut down in scholarship and bursaries. Tonight, I look at you and I ask our youth, our students, our graduates at CXC, Cape, UV, UTT, Costat, USC, etc. How frustrating has it been for you to apply over and over and over again for positions that you know you will never get because our, our population right now is overqualified. Every day the headlines read, loss of jobs, thousands sent home, shut down here, shut down there, shut down everywhere. How far, my brothers and sisters, have we fallen as a country? And without the stimulation of our economy, we all feel a sense of hopelessness in this country under the PNM regime. Only a UNC government now can build our local economy, can build our human capacity, can create jobs for the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago, and it is clear that unemployment and underemployment is an issue because my sister Candice Dyer, that was her whole message tonight. Families are frustrated and struggling. Only a UNC government, and they have done it before, and we will do it again, can create over 50,000 jobs in less than five years. And while we were able to do that, the PNM government has sent home over 60,000 plus people in less than five years. My brothers and sisters, I am sorry that the time is short and the issues are many. 
from bad roads, no water, flooding everywhere. But tonight I urge you to continue to speak up, to speak out, and to speak the truth. The future we need requires leaders who are innovative, who are created, uh, creative, and who are game changers. And if you look to my right, that is what we have to offer in the United National Congress. It is clear that there is no such future under this PNM regime. I wish to take the time once again to thank my political leader for giving me the opportunity to fight for our Mayaro. And whether they call the local or the general election first, we will be ready to vote them out of office. Long live the United National Congress. Long live our political leader. God bless us all and I thank you. Faris, come down, come down. Imbu, come down, come down. UNC, in tongue, in tongue, in tongue, in tongue, in tongue.